motocross, and she's the first deaf person to ever compete professionally in the sport. She'll be going for her third gold medal in the upcoming X Games. Please welcome, along with her father, Jim, 21-year-old Ashley Bialik. <laughs> Now, uh, Jim, you are here to interpret, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, first of all, welcome, Ashley. Thanks for being here. Thank you for inviting me here. Thank you. And I know that I'm very attractive. <laughs> yeah, definitely <laughs> handsome. There was a pause there. She's like, okay, I'll be nice to him. Uh, this is a fascinating story. First of all, your granddad and your dad grew up racing, and your dad got you started, what age are we talking Yeah, well, I started riding actually when I was three years old, and um, just um, I didn't start racing until seven, though. So um, I just love it. I rode with my dad, and my grandpa. I just love it. So, but what's interesting is that you were riding a motor. You weren't riding a tricycle when you were three. You were riding a motorized bike, uh, pretty young. Yeah, I never really actually rode a bicycle. I didn't learn how. I just always rode a motorcycle. <laughs> well, then, Jim, this question's for you. What the heck were you thinking? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it seemed like a good idea at the time, and uh, <laughs> I just grew up, my dad grew up riding, and, you know, we just thought when Ashley was born, we were going to get her a motorcycle and ride, and it just turned into all this. Yeah. Okay, uh, you're, you're, was there a harness? Was there any kind of seatbelt? Was there any kind of, I mean, I, I can't imagine a three-year-old on a motorized bike. We actually have a picture here of you, this is a little older, but it's still the same gas-powered bicycle, is that right? Which, I'd be afraid to get on that. No, there's no, no special harness. I would hold, on my dad's, I would hold the crossbar and just go through the woods. And my little PW, that little motorcycle, I would just ride. It had training wheels on it, and it, it didn't work real good at first, but I still had fun on it. I didn't realize you could put training wheels on a motorized bike. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. They're, actually, they were for a bicycle, but we put them on a motorcycle. <laughs> oh, well, then that makes perfect sense. Um... Are there, uh, I would think there might be disadvantages to not being able to hear if you're riding a motorcycle professionally, needing to uh, hear the, the shifting of the engine, hear other racers coming up on either side of you. I mean, I would think it would be a disadvantage. Yeah, for sure. It's, um, it's a little disadvantage. You know, I can't hear them, obviously, so I have to hold my line. I can't move around on the track if I'll hit them. Um, it's an advantage off the track because I can't hear them talking trash about me or anything like that. <laughs> Uh, you are uh, five feet two inches tall. Do you, is that a, a problem when you're riding? These bikes are very powerful. These bikes are very fast. And they're big machines. Is that a disadvantage in the sport? Yeah, it, it definitely is a disadvantage. You know, I'm only five two. Of course, I weigh a hundred pounds. Uh, I ride a motorcycle that's 200 pounds, so, you know, trying to hold the bike when it's really on a rough track, it gets difficult, so, um, but it's an advantage on the start because I'm so light that I can get out front, so that really helps me. Okay, you, uh, you, now you, uh, race women, uh, exclusively, but you're interested, you would like to race guys, is that true? Yeah, for sure, I, I always wanted to race with men, I grew up racing boys, and I think I can do it. When, when... I think you can too. I know you can. When you, you were younger, you had pink hair, and you, you still have some pink hair, but you had bright pink hair, and you liked it when you raced against boys. You liked having pink hair. Why? Yeah, I, of course, I've always loved pink hair since I've been little, and, you know, I won my first national with pink hair, and I, I always thought it was good luck for me, and, you know, it doesn't hurt when you pass a boy with pink hair. <laughs> they know they've been passed, yeah. Uh, you were not unconscious in a crash before the 2011 X Games, and you could not compete. What does that do to your attitude this year? Does it make you, does it give you more fear, or in a way does it make you more determined? No, I'm, I'm definitely more motivated this year. I, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to be ready to win a gold medal, my third one, and, and I'm ready. Yeah, this is, I'm going to do my best. That's all I can really do. Uh, yes. I don't worry about you. Can I ask you, Jim, do you, 
you uh, grew up racing. You raced for a long time. Your d dad raced for a long time. Uh, do you are you comfortable watching Ashley race now as a young woman, or is it difficult for you to watch? Is it scary? Yeah, I mean, I grew up doing it. My dad, um, I've watched Ashley do it. Um, but no, it's not something that you ever get comfortable with. You know, it's something that uh, I mean, that's my kid. I love my kid. I want her to be safe. So. Um, you know, I get nervous just like anybody else, and I want the best for her, but actually when the gate drops, I, like, go get them, you know, so the, 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 the fear goes away, and, you know, but, of course, you know, I'm always concerned with it. I never get comfortable with that. Yeah. All right, well, absolute joy having you on the show. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. It's a great story. Best of luck to you. The X Games... And you, I'm going to talk to you later, man. The X Games, <laughs> uh, the X Games airs June 28th uh, through July 1st on ESPN and ABC. And watch Ashley race on Saturday, June 30th at 9 on ESPN. Best of luck to you. Thank you so much for being here. Ashley Violet, we'll be right back. Comedian Chad Dennis is here. Stick around.